And Libby, tell, tell us the story about uh, how we got to this point. So go as far back. So, your birth or whatever, but because you grew up with some kind of passion, I guess, to help Yes, you, so. I did. Well, um, I come from deaf parents. My parents are deaf, so signing was my first language. My son's deaf, so I he went to a local school here, Ohio Valley Voices, which is in Loveland, Ohio, or, or Loveland, and um, I started helping with fundraisers and um, things through them. And now I've reached out through other people in the community as a parent just to do what I can do for different groups. So with COVID, um, when COVID happened, um, my daughter's on Storm, which is an amazing um, team here locally in Loveland. The Storm stands for is it an acronym? I don't think so. It's just Loveland Storm. Um, it teaches camaraderie, you know, it keeps them active, it keeps them healthy competition. So we were very excited to have my um, all of the members um, on the team involved. But then when COVID happened, we had to kind of put a halt on everything. Um, a lot of sports kind of suffered because they are used to having the additional funds for maintenance on the fields. No one knows what goes into um, the expense um, to have a soccer field, a soccer team with the fields and goals and equipment and everything like that. So then we thought, let's do a fundraiser, um, but we don't want to ask for money because um, asking for money in um, a direct way is very difficult because everybody's kind of hurting right now due to COVID. So then we thought, why don't we do a fundraiser that gets the community involved? Um, it helps Storm in some way, but it also helps multiple people within the community. So um, we um, checked with RP Diamond. RP Diamond has helped with fundraisers in the past and they will work with you on different shirts and different things. So um, we were able to go through them for the shirts and that's how we came up with the spirit wear for the race. And then we decided that whatever we donated, so we'll, we had a set fee for each race member um, so that um, we could use those funds for our fundraiser and for members of the community. So we decided to do a race because it gets people active, people are motivated to go outside and walk and run, um, and we could do it virtual. So we gave them a week um, to do this 5K, so you could go any time between Sunday to Sunday, and you had your, your shirts that you ordered when you uh, registered. Um, and that's how we kind of came to getting these ideas together and then now we have the funds um, and some of the proceeds going to the community. To, because it's a Loveland Storm team, since we're part of a small community, all of our kids and adults wanted to help others within the community at the same time. And as I understand, the, the, the money is going to the Love Book Foundation, is that the name? Legacy Foundation, Legacy Foundation. yes. Mm -hmm. But then part of it is going to... Mile 42. Mile 42 mm -hmm. coffee, yes. And they are going to set it aside or put it into an account for coffee for teachers. Correct. Because teachers are struggling right now with going back to school and they're doing ex the extra load. So as a courtesy or as a thank you to the teachers, there'll be an account there for um, complimentary coffee um, for all Loveland teachers um, until the funds run out. I probably need to ask them how a teacher does that. Is it just come in and say I'm a teacher? Yes, we're going to go figure that out after this um, interview. Okay, mm -hmm. and make sure that you send that back to me if I forget to even ask over there. Okay, I um, could definitely get that yeah, information to you. It'll take me a couple days before I publish it, mm -hmm. but if that's figured out by then, that's an important part of the story. I'm thinking that maybe um, they'll show an ID, a teacher's ID or something to show that they are a teacher within the Loveland School District. Um, and they'll keep track of the funds there um, until they run out. Um, but that's just a guess. <laughs> so, uh, Bruce was telling me about part of the, uh, the spirit of the soccer organization. 
was to teach the soccer players, the children, to give them yes. part of the community. But they got that from somebody and I expect you're a big part of that. So where did you get that? Well, you know, the only thing I saw, I don't know. Um, I think it's important for our children nowadays to really be aware of what's going around our community. Um, we have so many wonderful programs and a lot of people who actually need our help. Um, I volunteer a lot for the Life Pantry. Um, I'm a pantry pal. I don't know if you've heard of that, but we're assigned a family that we um, really make sure that they get what they need and um, we deliver food every month to the families that can't drive or are, you know, restricted because of COVID and things like that. And I think um, for a team, you know, um, I think there's so much stuff that comes from sports, um, um, physical activity, um, um, just being a part of a team and just really enhancing those skills. But when the team comes together and really thinks about how they can impact the community in such a big way with little, they don't have to do much to make a big impact. And for them to be aware that um, these little things add up and really support our community is a really good lesson for kids in our different age groups to learn so early on. So that's kind of what we're trying to implement and we want to become more and I think by doing that because we're all a part of Loveland it makes her a strong knit community I think it makes our community stronger because not only are certain people volunteering but now our children are involved which um, gives a whole new big support for that purpose yeah Hey, uh, Libby, thanks so much for yeah. spending some moments with me and telling me the story. Yes. I really appreciate it. Good luck. Yes, thank and you. Besides that, thanks for, for doing this for the community. Of course. We are very happy to do it, and we hope to do more in the future. I don't think this is the end, and if anything, since we just started this, I think that if we continue to build on it, this could become really big in the future. So I'm hoping this will continue yearly. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, nice to meet you too. Now we're cooking with gas. Here we are.